In the second half of Dragon Ball Super Episode 63, Vegeta gave Goku Black an ass whooping like one we haven't seen in quite some time. He got him some of Goku Black, the cocky, evil Zamasu who took over Goku's body. But the question that I've seen posed is how the hell did Vegeta go from losing to Goku Black, somewhat embarrassing might I add, to actually being able to dominate over him during this most recent encounter. On this video, I'm gonna analyze the data that we have and come to a conclusion when it comes to answering the question of how Vegeta got so strong so fast in Dragon Ball Super. Mr. Satan wants you to subscribe to Geek 101 on all these social media platforms, you chump. Oh yeah! So how did Vegeta get so strong so fast and how strong is Vegeta? Well, before examining that question, we have to go back and remember Vegeta's character. Even though Goku was trained by various martial artists throughout the series, and like Vegeta, is a prodigy despite being born with a very low power level, one cannot forget that Vegeta is indeed a Saiyan super elite. That's one detail that people forget. And even though Goku was able to tap into powers and discover new training methods ahead of Vegeta, Vegeta's drive and determination to be at equal strength with Goku, if not surpass him, is the driving force behind everything he does for the majority of the series. And even though Goku and Vegeta are no longer really enemies, I would consider them more rivals, they're definitely not enemies. Vegeta no longer wants to kill Goku or anything like that. Vegeta still strives to not let Goku get too far ahead of him and still gets frustrated whenever Goku pulls out something that he wasn't expecting, like for example the Kaioken that Goku pulled off against Hit and other things like that. Now one of the things I've been hearing lately from some people is that there's a myth going around, and I'm not really sure where it started, that Zenkai boosts no longer happen in Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Z, and that we haven't seen Zenkai boosts in a very long time. That's a complete myth, and I'll tell you why. Number one, Saiyan biology does not necessarily change as the series progresses. Number two, we've seen Zenkai boosts exploited recently. Perfect Cell exploited one, Broly in between his movies had one, and even in Dragon Ball Super, Goku and Vegeta have trained very hard, and every time they train hard and beat themselves up, they get stronger. Training and Zenkai boost kind of go hand in hand. Now, obviously, in the Namek arc, Toriyama used Zenkai boost as a plot device, as a way to keep the story going, and Zenkai boosts have never really been consistent. It's almost like Toriyama's method of making sure that characters can kind of have competitive fights by creating this idea that if Saiyans fight hard or even come close to death or actually even die, they can receive a Zenkai boost when brought back to life. We see an example of this in the Japanese version of Dragon Ball Z. I believe it might have been cut out of the dub, but I'm not 100% sure on that, when Vegeta wakes up on Namek and realizes that he is actually stronger. So it's not just coming close to death. Every time that a Saiyan dies, he gets a Zenkai boost because, you know, before he dies, his body calluses up and he gets stronger. I mean, it's just very simple biology. Just consider it like when your body gets calloused, especially when you're a martial artist who is trained to harden his body. Just imagine that on an intergalactic scale where these guys get really, really strong. But again, it's inconsistent. Toriyama writes them just to make things match up. Vegeta could not beat Zarbon if it wasn't for the Zenkai boost he received during their first fight and so on and so forth. They are very, very inconsistent, but don't let that bother you. So fast forwarding to Dragon Ball Super, we've seen Vegeta not only have several battles with Goku, Black, and Zamasu, we've seen Vegeta and Goku get massacred by Black and Zamasu. In fact, the first time that we saw Black's psionic blade technique, that's what I call it, Goku Black demonstrated this technique by stabbing Vegeta. And if getting stabbed through the chest ain't some I'm almost dead shit, I don't know what is. And you've got to be a real badass to take a stabbing through the chest and survive. And of course, Trunks took one also so recently as well. These guys are pretty tough. Now with that said, one of the questions that's been unanswered in the series is how does Zenkai boost in any way correlate with God Key? I don't believe there's an actual correlation between that, but I do think that the Zenkai boosts do still happen. I mean, we have pretty blatant evidence of this from Goku Black himself, who is 
of course, Zamasu inhabiting Goku's body from Dragon Ball Super. So, you know, at that point, he's already got, like, all kinds of crazy powers. So, we know that they still happen, but we don't know what the relation is with God Key. But one can just assume that Vegeta and Goku, with their training from Whis, have learned to really tap into the God Key whenever they want, really. I mean, they've get, they're getting better and better at it as they get into more fights. And thus, I do believe that the Zenkai boost that they've gotten have certainly increased their power overall. Like, I think it increased their strength and their durability overall, both key and god key, whatever they decide to tap into. But, of course, in these fights we've seen lately, they're only tapping into god key. Now, the other big aspect of Vegeta's strength has to do with the fact that Vegeta trains his ass off. I think a lot of people have to remember just how focused Vegeta is on surpassing Goku. But in this instance, it's not just surpassing Goku. It's saving the future, saving his son, Future Trunks' future. And he really doesn't like the fact that Goku Black is torturing the people of the future and, of course, killed his future wife. It's not really his present wife, but it's still Bulma, and that's his Bulma, right? So... Vegeta's been training his ass off. Goku recently learned the Mafuba, and it seems like the series is implying that Goku's been taking time to master this Mafuba technique, the evil containment wave, to seal up Zamasu or Goku Black, most likely future Zamasu or whatever their merged form is going to be officially called. Meanwhile, Vegeta has been essentially strength training. He's been training to get stronger in the room of spirit and time. Now, when you really think about how strong Vegeta is, you have to take into account that he went to go train with Whis, he tapped into God Key, then an additional three years in the room of spirit and time, otherwise known as the hyperbolic time chamber, three years in there, which we thought was impossible, but I guess Super's changing rules around left and right sometimes, and then in addition to that, Vegeta always trains. Anytime that Vegeta gets a chance to do something, it's training. It seems like every single bit of free time that Vegeta has, he's training. And he knows that this fight is going to get harder and harder. So he keeps on training his body to get stronger. And thus, when Vegeta goes back to the future to confront Goku Black, even though there are still challenges there, even though Goku Black is still coming off like a tough guy, Vegeta is much more prepared and much more focused. Plus, don't forget to take into account that every time you face off against an opponent, you do learn more about them. So Vegeta came into this thing prepared not just for Goku Black's blade technique but also his overall combat style and like he told Goku Black he's just an imposter he's just taking over Goku's body he doesn't really know how to use his body to its fullest potential but Vegeta does know how to use his body to his fullest potential because he's been in that body pretty much his entire life not to mention that even though Zamasu is stated in the series to be a prodigy which he is I mean he's a martial arts prodigy the fact remains that Vegeta has been fighting his entire life I mean he's been in all kinds of battles and even though we don't have an actual age on Zamasu we don't know how old this guy is it is implied he's kind of a young guy kind of an immature guy and I think and I don't know this for sure but I think he is younger than Vegeta at this point in the series Vegeta's in his 40s but he's so damn experienced at fighting with his own body and he's such a combat genius that it was only a matter of time before he caught up to Goku Black like he always catches up to Goku right and there's also one more factor that I think people have to remember and that's the fact that even though Gohan is the character in Dragon Ball who is always known to have rage boosts he's the character that we all recognize and identify with when it comes to tapping into his anger to become more powerful kind of like in Star Wars with the dark side of the force Gohan's been the one guy who's kind of, you know, or people believe that Gohan's the one guy who can do this. But if you remember, it was Goku's rage from his best friend being killed by Frieza that made him transform on Namek in the first place. And for a more recent example, when Bulma was slapped by Beerus, Vegeta lost his damn mind, screamed, that's my Bulma. And it's stated that he actually surpassed Goku's Super Saiyan 3 in his Super Saiyan 2. So the fact that Vegeta did that pretty much cements the fact that Gohan's not the only one who can get a boost from raging, so can Vegeta. Plus, we recently saw Trunks raging out, and he tapped into a new form. Raging out is just something that happens in this series, and it leads to new abilities and new strengths. That's just how it is, and that's just how it always is. So to wrap up, how did Vegeta get so strong? Constant training, 
Zenkai boosts like before, and raging out, which is honestly the way that everybody gets strong in this series. I mean, he didn't have his potential unlocked or anything like that, but can you imagine how strong he would be if Elder Kai did that? I mean, who the hell knows? Anyways, it was good seeing Vegeta kick Goku Black's ass, and even though Vegeta recently calculated that him and Goku are almost at the peak of their power, that does not appear to be the case because he's still getting stronger. Thank you so very much for watching. Please let me know if I missed any details you think I should have talked about in the video. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you down the road.